This is a demonstration of exercise 23.5b, Preparation of Operating Activity Section Direct Method. Crayon Company's income statement for the year ended December 31, 2020 contained the following condensed information, and the problem gives us a condensed income statement for Crayon. It also states that Crayon's balance sheet contained the following comparative data at December 31st, and it gives us the accounts receivable, accounts payable, and income taxes payable account balances at the end of 2020 and 2019, and then gives us the change in each of these three accounts. It also states that accounts payable does pertain to operating expenses, and the instructions state to prepare the operating activities section of the statement of cash flows using the direct method. So over in our spreadsheet, we have the partial statement of cash flows for Crayon for December 31st, 2020, just the operating activity section. And since we're going to be using the direct method, we're going to show cash receipts from customers and then cash payments for operating expenses and for income taxes. So we have in our income statement our revenues from fees and our operating expenses that do uh, not include depreciation expense. We have a gain on the sale of equipment and we have income tax expense shown. So we know that we're going to show those cash receipts from customers and the cash payments. I have in the bottom of the spreadsheet um, set it up so that I can show how you would compute each of these using the information from the income statement and the comparative balance sheet information. So to determine what the cash receipts from customers are, we start out with the revenues from fees as shown on the income statement of $1,604,000. We then look at the change in the accounts receivable account, and we see that accounts receivable increased by $50,000 from 2019 to 2020. So that means that the revenue from fees includes that change, or $50,000 of revenue, that we have not collected yet. So that amount would need to be deducted to get the actual cash that we have received from our customers of $1,554,000. And the spreadsheet shows that at the top for the cash receipts from customers. Next, we're going to compute the cash payments for operating expenses. Operating expenses on our income statement are shown as $1,280,000. We need to adjust that for the change in accounts payable. So accounts payable increased from $82,000 to $132,000 or a $50,000 increase. So that means that our operating expenses includes $50,000 of expenses that we haven't paid for yet. So we're going to again deduct that amount to get to actual cash that we have paid our suppliers of one million two hundred and thirty thousand and then the last item is going to be the income taxes that we have actually paid this year so we start out with the income tax expense that's shown on the income statement and then we have to look at what has happened in our income taxes payable account and we see that we our balance has actually decreased from twenty five thousand to 16,500. So that means that we have made an additional payment of $8,500 in excess of the $90,000 that was reported on the income statement. So the 8,500 would need to be added to the 90,000 to get cash payments for income taxes of 98,500. So now we have our cash receipts from customers, $1,554,000, our cash payments for operating expenses of $1,230,000, and our cash payments for income taxes of $98,500.
So that gives us a total cash payments of $1,328,500, which we would subtract from the cash receipts from customers of $1,554,000, and that would give us net cash provided by operating activities of $225,000. $500. And that is the conclusion of the demonstration for exercise 23.5b.